And then we have the what, hey, what's the name of the director from um, the DiCaprio, the DiCaprio's uh, director? Oh, uh, you talking about, about uh, the Italian guy? <laughs> what an insane endeavor this was! <laughs> really, truly insane. It was insane. Yeah. <laughs> That's an idea. Uh, Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Somos. It's number three. We're so excited to have it's been such a fun ride um, as we started from episode one, two, and three. And uh, we have too much to talk about today. We have Johnny Pacheco, the passing of Johnny Pacheco, legend salsa Johnny Pacheco. <laughs> also, what did you think about Adrian? Well, hey guys. How are you guys doing? Tony, Eric, I'm really happy to be uh, back again on this uh, talk show with you guys, uh, Somos. And um, yeah, like Tony mentioned, we had a, you know, the, we heard the very sad news actually, you know, uh, last week about the passing away of Johnny Pacheco, uh, who passed away at 85. And as well as a jazz and Latin jazz uh, legend, Chick Corea, also passed away a couple of weeks ago. Um, so that's two, I mean, these guys are, you know, legends in their own gender of music. Um, Tony, if you want, I can start talking about Johnny Pacheco a little bit. You know, he, he passed away at 85 years old. And in the 50s, he's actually one of the guys that started um, Pachanga, like blending in Cuban music and merengue. And in New York. Um, and uh, he was born in, in uh, Republica Dominicana. Dominicano. And then moved, you know, moved uh, at an early age to uh, to uh, New York. And he's one of the founders of the legendary salsa label, Banya All Stars. Um, I know Tony. You know, you've had the pleasure to work directly with a lot of Banya artists. Um, you've had them at your club. You've done promotions for them. Do uh, you want to talk a little bit about, you know, about so, Fania? You know, uh, Johnny Pacheco was a director, a composer, a band leader, uh, a label, uh, pretty much rep. Also, um, Fania Records, he started with a guy named Jerry Masucci. For people that don't know about Salsa Dura, that's where it started. Um, he moved to New York, like Adrian says, from Santo Domingo, one of the few Dominican salseros in the world. Um, wow, Dominican, I didn't know that. I'm not listening to you. You're crazy. Play, you know, he backed up Celia Cruz. Um, Hector Lavo, actually, you know, like I said, Fania was part of the old, you know, salsa legends and stuff like that. Hector Lavo, um, Picon de Rodriguez, uh, like I mentioned, said Willie, Willie, Willie Colon, Willie Colon, uh, Ray Barreto, you know, there, there was so it was a, a really big, big, big list of artists. Um, Celia Cruz. Uh, Celia Cruz, yeah, he did, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we hear the song and you're like, wow, that guy was part of it, but, you know, um, Toro Matai, Kimbara, all those songs that we dance, you know, even the new generation dance to their classic songs. So it was a sad news, like I said, that we heard last week that he, of his passing. Um, he was 85 years old. Uh, he's in a better place now. I'm pretty sure he's playing salsa up there now with Tito Puente. Up in heaven. De Cruz, de <laughs> he, he has a big jam up there. Um, but anything else that you would like to add, Adrian, about him and stuff like that, too? Um, you know, I mean, the guy, you know, the guy produced and composed over 150 songs. I mean, this guy wasn't just, you know, he was on top of that. He was a showman. You know, he was always on the stage, like exciting the crowd when one of his artists would go on there. You know, he's very known for that, that energy that he had kind of almost like a director of salsa when he would well, be on well, stage. Well, you know, if, um, if you watch the movie El Cantante with Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you guys noticed that song, uh, Quítate Tú, Quítate Tú, Papo. He's he's a guy with the flu and you're going crazy. You know, that's that's who uh, Johnny Pacheco oh. was, like the energy guy behind the whole band. I mean, definitely one of the, one of the you know, you, you can say one of the founders of salsa music and creators because salsa music, a lot of people don't know this. Salsa music was actually created in New York. It's not like it came from Puerto Rico, from the islands. They combined all these different sounds they had in the Caribbean and on their islands, and they created salsa. So that actually genre of music, salsa, was created in New York with guys like Johnny Pacheco and some of the ones that you mentioned, you know? Yeah, yeah. But bro, let's, let's clarify. Salsa, yeah, you make fun of salsa, salsa picante. <laughs> no salsa picante. <laughs> Do not get those. You know what? I was, I was totally surprised. The first time I went to Puerto Rico to San Juan, Dude, we went there looking for salsa. We went looking to dance, right? And we were blown away that it was they were playing reggaeton. 
like salsa was not big. And I've been to New York many times as you guys probably have as well. New York, salsa lives in New York. And I didn't know that it was born. I think it was good, you know, uh, for you to mention that. I, th I don't think a lot of people know that, that. Yeah, it's interesting, right? It's, very uh, you know, um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, Johnny Pacheco, uh, he, he combined merengue, which we know comes from the Dominic Dominican Republic primarily. And then with, you know, with Cuban, with influence of Cuban music, and he started Pachanga. And then eventually when he moved to New York with some of these, you know, legends, they created a, you know, salsa music. You know, Dominican right now Republic is... gives such, so much flavor to things. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Washington Heights in New York. Even in New York, some of the best things in life really are free. While wandering through Washington Heights, we discovered an unexpected reprieve from the heat. This upper Manhattan neighborhood is home to New York's largest immigrant group. Dominicans account for approximately 7% of the city's total population. The corner fire hydrant is the perfect hub for the favorite daily pastime, visiting. With characteristic shyness, no resident was willing to speak on camera, but everyone we talked with agreed, family and the Spanish language are the most important bonds amongst Dominicans. Uh, it's kind of like the hood, right? And, uh, you know, when reggaeton was first, well, we, we need to talk about reggaeton, by the way. At some point, like the history, because it's so, it, it has so many different, um, you know, places where it comes from. I want to talk about Banda also later, maybe not on this show, but okay. I want to talk about Banda because that also has a, a very kind of interesting how, where it came from. But I went to Washington Heights and I heard like a reggaeton that I've never heard before. It was uh, Dembo. 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 And also the salsa. And by the way, Washington Heights is a Dominican Republic kind of neighborhood. And they added a diff. The, the salsa there was was different too. Uh, it, it was more, it, it seemed like it was faster. It seemed like it was a, a different flavor, like a little, just a little spice that made it a little different. Well, you know, it's another topic, but you know, salsa, when you talk about salsa, there's so many departments, I call it. You know, there's salsa dura, salsa romantica, salsa monge. Dominicans in the, the late 2000s, you know, they started adopting salsa, but with a little bit, like you're saying, a little bit more faster pace. Chiquito band, you know, guys from New York, there were like New Yorkers doing salsa. So like you said, that's another topic we're going to talk about. Even then, how reggaeton has different, you know, meanings. It came from here. It came from there. But you know what? You got to sign up to our Somos because that's the only way you can get informed of all the chisme, all the cultura, comida, lo que pasa aquí and Somos all over the world. Correct? And then, yes. Tony, it's, Tony and Eric, you guys were talking about reggaeton. So I think we should jump into um, a little bit about Ozuna because that's another one of the subjects we want to talk about today. And Ozuna is just, I mean, blowing up. He just had a new uh, uh, record. He came out with Anuel, and he's actually going to be part of a new movie. And uh, Tony, why don't you take it away from here? Well, you know, Ozuna, <laughs> like I said, Ozuna's, you know, been around for the past four years. He's been, like, skyrocketing little, little, little by little. You know, the numbers have doubled. You know, um, to start off, you know, we're talking about the movies, he did uh, two movies already. It's called Que Leones. La Gran Manzana. Ustedes saben a lo que yo me refiero. He venido a Nueva York a buscar lo que tú nunca vas a poder lograr en tu país. Pero si yo soy tú, cuando él llegue le hago un escándalo, le miro el cuello y lo vuelo. ¿Pero por qué tú dices eso? Oh, por si acaso andaba con otra mujer. Uh, in the Dominican Republic. Um, and then from prior that, oh, oh, here comes, oh, oh, una bomba. He did an X-rated film. Yeah, there What? Was yeah, there was a big, there was a big thing going on. Are you talking about porn? It was porn. It was, was a, it was a, it was a thirty-second porn piece, and you know, like I said, it was, it was one of those things that, ugh, really. But you know, I've what? done, I've done some, I've done some films. But you know, hey, you know what? Somehow the guy had to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? He maybe that was something that was not in his plan. But look, look at now. A few years later, he skyrocketed. The music is hot. You know, in the movies, Fast and the Furious, because that's coming out in May. He has a part of that. Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine. Impressive. 
I know. No. No, that's that's not impressive. My ass is in fuego! <laughs> Uh, Tom and Jerry for the kids because you know he has two kids. He's also part of the Tom and Jerry movie that's coming out, so that's huge. You know, you got to give it to him. Well, that's a big. I mean, talk about crossover. We talked about crossover the last show that we had. I mean, he's part of Tom and Jerry, and this guy is—he's still young. He's 28 years old. Um, he's originally from Puerto Rico. He's, he's uh, Boricua. Rico. Yes. And uh, you know, and now, like, I mean, it's—it's it, it just. I'm always. I'm so happy and amazed how crossover reggaeton has become and like him being part of a you know it's an american cartoon tom and jerry now they're coming out with a movie and him being in it it's pretty amazing and then tony i know we always bring this back, back to you but you had the pleasure to have ozuna at rocapulco correct <laughs> Actually, you where's know what? That, I did. Where, I don't where's that poster? Where's, if you guys see that, see that picture the right poster? there? I don't know if you guys can see it there, but see that picture right there? That's Osuna at Rock of Poco, probably one of the most packed shows we have had. It was one, and then you had, yeah, and it was a sold out show. But you know, talking but, about, you know, those, those are inspiration for the young kids too, because, you know, let's face it, 16 year olds are looking up to this reggaeton artist that's saying, damn, you know, look at that. From one day to another, they're making so much million. You know what? You got to have, like I said, ambition, you got to hustle, and you cannot stop. Because once you have a project in your hand, you got to keep on going. Right. And then, you know, you had him at Rocapulco, which is a pretty large club. We're talking about, you know, maybe 1,000, 1,200 people. This guy has sold 50 million records, has over a billion views on YouTube, and actually is, is one of the best selling Latino artists of all times. And we're talking about a four year, a four year career. I mean, And I, I want to I want to finish this the the talk about Zuna really quick with with um, another um, another uh, interesting fact. In 2019, he was named by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influenced influencers people in the world. I mean, talk about a reggaeton artist being in that list. Um, now, hey, Eric, I know we have been promising our viewers. I know it's, we just it's our third show. But we promised them that we were going to be giving away some kind of giveaways. Can you maybe talk a little bit more about that? And uh... Yeah, so we, we want to get you involved. We want to get your questions. We want to get your comments because the way that this show is going to really develop is going to come from you. We want this show is for you. This show is for all those people that want to go to concerts that can't right now, that want to know what's going on with artists. And the more that we hear from you, the better that we're going to be able to tailor this show. So comment, give us, you know, your feedback, you know, let us know who the cutest guy on here is. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that we all know that. Let us we know who you want to do. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 all, we all know that. <laughs> <all know. laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we can get a sponsor from Lens Crafter. No, but you like the guy that, hope you like guy that wears glasses because all three of us wear glasses. But you're, you're gonna get me in trouble with my girlfriend. But, no, but seriously, uh, but Harry, seriously, but, seriously but also, if you comment, also, you get you uh, you get, you win the chance to win some some cash. We're giving away cash to support this the show. So twenty five bucks. All you got to do is comment, and your chance to win is is really easy. And you can comment around all the different pages that we have around the the country and around the the world. So feel free to comment, and wherever you're following us, keep following us there. Keep making comments. Please share the show. Sharing the show is going to help us again to keep this show going and, and to give us a little bit more ganas. Going to give us more ganas to keep doing this show and give you guys our best, you know, our best content. Definitely. Like well, Eric is saying, guys, please sign up whatever city you're from. Uh, like I said, he's giving a cash price, correct? Also, right. down the line, once we get a big database, you know, we're going to start giving you concert tickets. Who doesn't like to go to concert tickets? Who doesn't Absolutely. like to go to like shows? or even giveaways from our sponsors and stuff like that. It's really easy. All you have to do is follow us, sign up. Uh, Eric's going to be putting the, the info. Um, this is Somos Musica, Somos Gente, Somos Cultura, y Somos Poquito somos de lati todo, y Latino. Y Somos Latinos. Somos Latinos. Yeah, and, and also, pl and please give us any ideas of subjects that you like us, you know, different topics that you would like us to talk about. Uh, you know, primarily we're trying to target uh, anything to do with music. 
But, you know, it could be something else that you might have an idea. Please don't be shy and just, you know, send us a quick uh, comment and let us know. You know, we're, we're three loquitos trying to get the word out to you guys. You know, it's a fun show. You know, we want you guys to be entertained. We don't want to bore you guys. So that's why we make it short. So you guys can bam, 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 y fuimos. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm on my way. So guys, we're looking forward to seeing you guys every Thursday afternoon here on Latin Live. For any channel that you guys are watching this on or listening or whatever, we're on, we're going to be on podcasts, we're going to be on YouTube, we're going to be on Facebook. We're all over the country, all over the world. And next, for the next show, we're going to be talking about Banda MS. So we're going to be talking about other other genres of music, rock and español. And uh, and there's a special, we have a special, special announcement next, next weekend. We're going to be giving away something really, really special. So please tune in and we'll see you next time. Cool, cool. Uh, that special Great. giveaway, is that Adrian getting married? <laughs> <laughs> Put a humor at the end. <laughs> hey, are you going to give me away? Are you going to give me sell me for? I'm not listening to you. You're crazy. Nacho, I'm telling you. This is for reals.